Hi guys, this is Frenchy. Welcome to the first video of uh, the specific log series. Uh, we're gonna start with B-roll because the community has chosen B-roll as the first video. Thank you for uh, answering to the poll. And I'm gonna uh, put a poll for a uh, next week video. Uh, just like to know which log you want to see next. So Blackmagic cameras have very nice logs and um, are uh, always updating uh, with new generation of uh, logs, which is very interesting for our color grading. Uh, but then like it becomes a bit of a hassle because there's a lot of combination possible. Footage I'm going to present you and that you have in the free footage uh, in my Google Drive. So this is two footage from the Ursa G2. So we're going to map uh, them with the Gen 3 uh, inside our color space transform and we're going to do our grid around it. So you're going to see uh, the log is pretty nice. It can be uh, comparable as an Ari uh, log C because I always find with Blackmagic cameras, I have uh, so much range and so much possibilities for my grade. So let's get started. So here we are guys in our timeline. So we're going to start by comparing between uh, the DaVinci um, color managed uh, space and also the uh, color space transform. Let's just compare the two. So for example, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a steel just to compare uh, the two. So uh, I'm just gonna drop a color space transform. We are going from uh, 4.6K film uh, Gen 3 because this is a Gen 3. Uh, to uh, da, 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 a 4.6k uh, film, okay. Uh, timeline is still Rex 709 Gamma 2.4, and uh, this is also our uh, color uh, space, our color management. Um, so we're just gonna take uh, this steel uh, to compare, and we're gonna uh, do it in. A project level if it wants me to do it and in a project level you just I go from color science to davinci wire rgb color manage and uh we still want to do it like uh, in uh, sdr so we keep everything simple so uh, i save this and if you see davinci just recognized that it was a bureau footage and uh manage for you uh the the color space so it can be very handy uh, for this uh, uh, technique if you don't know uh, which gen uh, was the camera um, so I think it's it's great and if we compare the two uh, let's go to uh, da -da -da -da, selected image you have um, the DaVinci uh, color space the DaVinci YRGB color manage, sorry, that is a bit more uh, vibrant than uh, the color space transform. So it really depends on, uh, first of all, uh, your project. If you need, for example, some uh, manipulation uh, on the color space and uh, it depends on your uh, artistic choices. So um, if you see the tone mapping of the DaVinci wire JB color manage could be very useful if, uh, for example, you need to create a grade uh, with a lot of uh, uh, saturation and uh, color separation. Uh, the technique of the color space transform could be very useful if, for example, you need to uh, create a grade that is a bit more uh, toned down and uh, a bit more uh, uh, filmic. So um, it, it really depends on um, where you want to go. So uh, we're going to stay with uh, the color manage. And I'm just going to uh, do uh, my grade around this. Um, if you want to see who is this, uh, this is uh, Sam Koe and this is my uh, partner and also like my favorite director and uh, DP. So he is done um, the footage that you have in the free footage. Uh, every footages are from him. 
so uh, if you want to give him a shout out uh, just go on his instagram i'm just gonna put his instagram on uh, in the description and you just say hi for me <laughs> yeah. um so uh, let's come back to what we were doing um i really like to do always uh, a parallel node uh, that are fed that is fed to the source upper is our primaries and down is our secondaries so we're going to uh, start by the LGG, as you start to know with me. <laughs> so I'm just going to open my image uh, with my gain and uh, open with my lift. Uh, sorry, I think, uh, yeah, it's better like this. So um, just a cool trick, actually, if, uh, for example, you want to affect um, the um, uh, colors and the luminosity of uh, your uh, leaf gamma gain, you just need to uh, uh, roll the wheel like this, okay? So this is like for all the wheels. Huh? And if you only want to uh, um, affect your luminance, you just uh, go to this tiny um, uh, white thing. And you just increase or decrease it's just like it it's a slight difference uh but it's it's quite nice to know just in case you know like you are stuck uh with your wheels to do your grade so just a trick like this i, I give it to you <laughs> um so uh we just are gonna go uh to the hdr wheels you you know that i love uh, these wheels so hdr and we're just gonna go down with our lights and this is quite nice you know like so we went from this to this something a bit toned down i just like bring it up a bit more because then we just want to um uh, have a nice roll off but not taking uh, not take too much of um, the contrast yeah my i I lose my English, you know, like when I become too passionate, you know, my French is coming back, <laughs> you know. So, um, uh, what I'm going to do, because I kind of find his skin tone pretty good already. Um, but uh, let's, let's just see, let's just uh, check uh, where his skin tone is. So, let's just do that. Okay. And... Yeah, actually his skin is a bit too um, yellowish, so maybe we can just like put a bit more pink if you see. We're just like gonna remove this and what I'm gonna do is just taking, uh, as you know, you I love um, color wrapper for the skin. I'm just gonna take the color wrapper. His skin is actually in the uh, orange vector so it's here and i'm gonna go towards the red because we want him to have a skin tone that is only more pink and i think like that does the trick you know so we went from before and after before after which like then uh remove the olive um uh, undertone that he has naturally so um we gonna do a split tone just like for a quick look uh, i i like to do this um you know split toning is uh, actually like what we have in film emulation but uh what we want here why uh why we don't use a film emulation here is because um i just want to change up you know sometimes <laughs> so uh, we just gonna go uh, from uh, uh, in our curves and uh, unlink this go to our red uh, just hold option uh, just like put a point that is inside uh, like in the darkest part of the image and we are just gonna uh, remove uh, some uh, red in the shadows to have like this um, <laughs> I would call that like the grade of um, of um, uh, Doctor Strange, you know. I know it's not Doctor Strange. Why? Why I say that? It's uh, Doctor Sleep. <laughs> Doctor Sleep. My God, Doctor Strange, man. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't really sleep um, that much because I was a DIT on set. Uh, 
uh, two days ago and after I needed to uh, do some um, uh, what you call that I needed to do some editing and color grading it's just like the day after so I'm, I'm quite uh, deprived of sleep you know <laughs> so <laughs> Um, I'm just like, you know, saying whatever. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just like, um, you know, shifting my blue, green and red, just like to have deeper shadows, because I feel like the, the style is asking for it. Like in terms of uh, cinematography, if you see like this image is not at all a high key commercial, you see what I mean? So um, uh, this is before. And this is after we have richer um, shadows but at the same time it um, you know put the, the image to uh, something that is more pleasing to the eye because we are just like playing with uh, complementary colors uh, so it makes a bit more uh, contrast which I really like you know so um, this is our simple uh, look for it so we just are gonna uh, put a vignette around him Uh, we just like gonna link everything and uh, what I like to do sometimes is uh, using the editable splines so I'm just gonna uh, take my spline uh, uh, click at the at the upper part of my curve and just like slide it like this because it makes like a very nice curve um, and after I'm just gonna go uh, an outside note so everything outside of him uh, would be affected so we have a nice vignette so I show you the vignette so this is uh, before and this is after there's a very big difference and I really like what it's doing so before and after so um, it, vignettes are actually quite important you know in color grading because uh, you have uh, the uh, opportunity to just enhance uh, the light on set so you you just like um, shift the focus really on your character so um, this is our uh, look for today so we went from this which was uh, the color manage uh, by da Vinci to this uh, which is my grade <laughs> uh, I'm quite proud of it you know um, yeah uh, thank you guys for watching the video I hope uh, it helped and um, just answer to the poll uh, in the community section of my youtube channel um, I'm just uh, gonna ask you for uh, the second video uh, what you want to uh, see and yeah I see you next week see you guys